Namaskar children. How are you? I hope everybody is fine and safe at your home. Today we are going to start chapter 1 of computer. Before starting, please ensure that you have your computer book and copy with you. Let us start. The first topic of this chapter is the characteristic of computer. What are the characteristics that make the computer faster and superior than human being? The first one is the speed, second accuracy, third storage, fourth diligence and fifth versatility. Let us see one by one. The first most important characteristic is the speed. Computer work at a very high speed and are much faster than human. If a bigger calculation is given to a human being, human beings will take a longer time than a computer. Computer works at a very high speed and does the calculation much faster than the human being. A computer can perform billions of calculation in a second, whereas the human beings takes a lot of time to do it. So, by this characteristic, we can tell that computer is much faster than the human being. The time used by a computer to perform an operation is called as the processing speed that is measured in megahertz or gigahertz. Next one, accuracy. The accuracy of a computer is consistently high and the degree of accuracy depends upon its design. Errors can occur in a computer but these are mainly due to human mistake. Thus, computer can process large amount of data and generate error-free result provided the data is entered correctly. If inaccurate data is entered, the resulting output will also be incorrect. So what is happening? Accuracy depends on the data that is given to a computer. If the human mistakes are made, human by mystically gives the wrong data, the computer will work on the wrong data only. It does not have its own intelligence. So, the human beings have to give a correct data. Then only the computer can work on the data and give you an accurate 100% result. Next one is diligence. Unlike human being, a computer is free, for bo free from boredom, tiredness, lack of concentration, etc. Hence, a computer can work for hours without making any error or complaint. So, you can see from this line that computer is free from boredom, tiredness, lack of concentration. Whereas, if we compare this characteristic with a human being, we human being get bored or tired very easily. Sometimes we are not concentrating properly in our work. But whereas, Computer is free from all this. It can work for hour without making any error. There are many computers which can work for long hour. Even if 10 million calculations have to be performed, a computer will perform the 10 millionth calculation with exactly the same accuracy and speed as the first one. So the accuracy and speed is not deteriorated. Whereas the computer is working throughout the calculation with the same speed and the accuracy. But if the human beings does the work, a same work, then its speed gets decreased. So if you compare the human being with a, com a computer, this characteristic of diligence is much more superior for the computer than a human being. Next topic is versatility. It can perform all kind of jobs simultaneously. Like it can process the result. You want to publish a result of any student. Then how we can do? We can give the data. The computer will calculate the data and will process the result. Then after doing this, you can play your music. You can watch a videos. Then you can uh, do any tabular data, work on tabular data in Excel. You can make a PPT file. You can do a lot many work in a computer. So all this work can be done in a computer and computer does not get tired. 
can do diverse nature of work like calculation, graphics, work, searching. You can even search on net. You can do lot many things in a computer at the same time. Whereas if you compare this characteristic with a human being, you can see the human being cannot work a multiple, you cannot do a multiple work at a one time. If you are doing one work, you have to complete that work, then you have to proceed for the another work. But a computer can do a lot many work at the same time. Next, till now we have learned about the characteristic of computer. Our next topic is the limitation of computer. What are the limitation? There are few limitations of a computer. Like the first one, the computer can only perform the tasks you ask it to. Computer does not have its own intelligence. Whereas human being, we all have our own intelligence. A computer cannot generate information by itself. It needs the help of human beings. Human beings have to give the input to the computer. Accordingly, the computer will take the input, will process the input and will show you the output. It cannot think by itself. If you give the computer wrong data, it is going to give you wrong information. So, it depends on a human being that what we are giving to the computer. If you are giving a correct data, the computer will work on it and will give you a 100% result. But it cannot, uh, it is not able to correct the wrong instruction. Like here, see this last line, computers are unable to correct the wrong instruction. It also does not have its own feelings like human being. We can do the experiences, then we have the feelings of happiness, sadness. We can, uh, uh, we can do a test, we can do a lot many things. But a computer cannot do all these things. It is a machine and these feelings characteristic is the limitation of a computer. This is the last topic of this video. In the next topic, we will continue. In the next topic, we are going to learn the generation of computer. Please write down the answer of the following question in your copy. When the school will reopen, I will check it. Namashivai. Thank you.